So you have finally decided to make your first game, but you don't know what softwares to use. Well, let me help you. In this video, I'm going to show you eight softwares that you can use for game development. I'm going to explain, describe to you different uh, programs that you can use, like programs for audio, programs for video editing, programs for putting everything together, like to, to make your game a, a game engine. That's what I'm going to give you. Um, also, I'm going to give you different 3D modelers, different tools, different softwares that you can use uh, to create your first game. Um, all these softwares are free uh, and they are the best of the best. I have been using them and I don't have um, any complaint about them. Um, why you should trust me? Well, I'm an indie game developer. I have posted uh, like three games on the Google Play Store. My most successful game is called Quiz, Movies and TV Shows. It's basically a game where you have to guess movies and TV shows. Um, if you want to know how I make money with that game, I'm going to leave you a video here in the upper right corner. Go ahead, click that and you will see a video where, where I explain you how I make money with it. Like what is the things that I use to make money and what is the things that indie game developers use to make money. Uh, but that's it. Let's start with the softwares. Um, the first software is Unity. Uh, Unity is a game engine, it's a free game engine. Uh, you can make games and you can win money with the games that you you create at Unity as long as you don't make more than $100 per year. Once you make $100 per year, you will have to buy the, the pro version of Unity. Um, but you know, if you're winning $100 per, per year, you will probably <laughs> pay in that Unity Pro wouldn't be um, uh, something to worry about once you start making money with your games. Um, why I give you this recommendation? Why I tell you that Unity is the best software? Why why is the why it is the best game engine? Well, easily. Basically, Unity is the most popular game engine out there. So if you have anything like a, a problem with it, if you want to know something about programmation, if you oh, code, sorry, if you want to know something about code. Um, something about how Unity works. There is a lot of documentation, there is a lot of tutorials, and there is a lot of people willing to help you. Uh, either in Unity Answers, Stack Overflow, I think that's the name, and more things. Basically, Unity is the best. You can make any type of game, like you can build any type of game, a racing game, um, anything. Um, it's very easy to use, you can learn it easily, and as I told you, it's the most popular. You will get a lot of help if you have any problem. Um, yep, download Unity. Use it for gaming engine. It's going to be the best one. Um, the second software is Magica Voxel. Basically, Magica Voxel is a um, 3D pixel art pro software. Basically, you can create um, models, 3D models using squares. Um, you can do a lot of wonderful things. I'm not sure. I think that uh, Crossy Roads, that game, that famous game, it was made with this, with Magica Voxel. I'm not sure, but even if it wasn't, you can make uh, <laughs> a Crossy Road with this program. I mean, like, it's easy. It's easy to use. You can do wonderful things. Because um, what? It's free. As I told you, all the softwares in this list are free, and Magica Voxel is free. You can use it for commercial, commercial things, um, and it wouldn't be um, any problem. Uh, the third software that I will recommend is Inkscape. Inkscape is a vectorial based um, graphic tool. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but basically it's, 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 it's a software where you can create um, images, you can create graphs for your game. The, it doesn't matter if you want to create the, the character of a 2D game or, or the UI of a 2D game, or, or any game, sorry. <laughs> Um, basically, Inkscape, it works with Vector, I don't know what that means, but basically everything that you create in it is going to scale easily without losing resolution, without losing um, any quality of your, of your graphs, so it's a good way of making graphs for your game. I have made my game quiz movies and TV shows with Inkscape, you can go ahead playing it if you want, it basically 
I made all the graphs, all the movies, all the TV shows, all the cartoons using Inkscape and I think it has a wonderful aspect and uh, it looks really really good and um, uh, I'm, sh I'm very sure that most of the success of this game was due to its graphs and I made them with Inkscape so really good, free and you can go ahead and download it. Um, the fourth software is GIMP. Many people should know this. GIMP is like the alternate version of Photoshop. Um, everyone uses it like for Photoshop related thing um, when, when we talk about free, free softwares. Um, I have used both Photoshop and GIMP and I can tell you that GIMP is really really good. You can achieve really good results and really 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 results similar to those that you can achieve with Photoshop. So um, it is basically an um, editor for images, GIMP. Um, I, I, I will only use this, like GIMP, for marketing stuff, like doing uh, the store listing uh, of my game, like the screenshots, the app icon, or if you are doing a computer or, or console game, like all the artwork. You know, you can do it perfectly. Uh, I would rather prefer Inkscape for anything else uh, of graphs because it's it's it, you know you can scale it without losing resolution so so it's better uh, for me but you can use GIMP if you are looking for something similar to Photoshop to start making your games and something free use GIMP it's really good uh, I I have been using now uh, instead of Photoshop why because I lose my <laughs> Photoshop uh, license and I'm not buying that. Thing again is expensive and GIMP can achieve the same results and it's free. Um, okay, before continuing I'm going to tell you that I have made a video about how much money I make. Um, it's basically a video where I tell you all my revenue for my first mobile game and you can go ahead and watch it. Basically my first mobile game is quiz movies and TV shows, that game that I have been telling you all the video. Go ahead, watch that video, I'm sure that you will be interested in how much I made and how much could you made with your game. If my game, which is a piece of shit, can make that amount of money, I'm sure that your game and you can make a lot of money. Okay, uh, software number 5, BFXR. It's basically um audio tool that you can use to create audios for your game. Uh, you can create like the sound of buttons, the sound of, of everything. Yeah, everything. You, every sound that you want for your game, you can create it on BFXR. Uh, I will have to tell you that generally the sounds that you can make here are better those like 8-bit sounds, like making sounds like for old, like 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 the same sound that old games have. Like when I'm when I'm talking about old games, I'm talking about like Pac-Man, um, all, all those retro games, uh, Mario, and that stuff. You can make a lot of sounds very similar to to those type of sounds with BFXR but you can also make a lot of a lot of other sounds like the UI sounds that's how I made the UI sounds of my <laughs> game quiz and TV shows like the quiz movies and TV shows um, the, oh, you can go ahead playing and you can try the sounds uh, oh, every sound that I have made the, or, or that every sound that that game has <laughs> I have made with, F, with BFXR so I would really recommend it. That's all for it. Uh, step number six, like sorry, software number six is Blender. Blender is the the best tool for 3D modeling uh, when you don't want to do like voxel art. <laughs> uh, Blender basically is like a free 3D modeling tool that you can use to model everything that you want. If you want to model, uh, you I don't know, like a bed, <laughs> uh, a, a, a TV, everything. You can model everything in Blender. It's free. You can animate it there too and, all, and export it to Unity. Um, I have never used it for a commercial game. I have always used it for my personal projects because like for learning. Because I don't, I don't really think that it's a good idea to make a 3D game when you are an indie game developer. Um, and now I have an idea. If you want to, <laughs> to I want you. If you want me to make a video about um, how you should make games, how how you should start as an indie game developer, please leave, leave a like in this in this video and, and in a comment so so I can. So, so I can know that there are, that there's a lot of support for that video, and I will make it. Uh, don't worry, I will make a video if you if you ask me. 
but yeah, Blender is a 3D modeling tool. You can animate. Um, there is also the the most popular 3, free 3D tool. So you will find a lot of tutorials. I I'm I will without fear. I will say that it is also the the most popular 3D modeling tool. Everyone uses it. Um, it's free. It's really good. Like when I said that it's really good. It's really good. Like it doesn't have bugs. It it has a lot of options. It it looks like a monster when you enter. It looks like a monster. It has a lot of options. It has a lot of things that you can touch and adjust. So if you are a 3D modeler, uh, you can go ahead and watch that. What is that sound? Okay, <laughs> uh, go ahead uh, and try Blender. Um, then program number seven is DaVinci Resolve. Uh, DaVinci Resolve is a free um, video editing uh, software you can basically use it for creating the trailers of your games all my trailers for my games are made with DaVinci Resolve um, it works perfect it is really good I make my YouTube videos with DaVinci Resolve um, I don't know how to use it a lot but I can tell you that it's free it has a lot of options and for indie game development it's really good you can make a lot of marketing uh, videos or trailer videos really good or videos for for, for your game, like to be inside of your game, and that's wonderful. Um, it's easy to use, very easy to learn. There is a lot of videos out there. Um, yeah, go ahead and try it. And then the software number eight is Audacity. Audacity is basically um, audio editing tool. Here you can edit your audio, like take out the noise, um, cut it in pieces, and make a different audio. It basically. It's basically an audio editor. I don't know what else to say. It's really good. It's free. Uh, that's how I uh, edit all my games audios. And um, yeah, you can basically try it. Um, okay. So this was everything for this video. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to make a lot of videos related to game development in this channel. I'm seeing that my videos are getting support. <laughs> At least they are being watched. <laughs> so please go ahead, subscribe. I'm sure that you will like everything that I post here. Um, I will be uploading a lot of videos related to game development. I have really, really interesting topics to talk about. So if you want to know more, uh, more about game development, go ahead, subscribe. And go ahead and watch this video here that i'm going to leave you go ahead watch it it's free <laughs> and, and and it's basically a video where i explain you how game developers make money it's a really good video i explain you how you can make money what are the things that you can use in your game to make money and i'm sure that that will be of your interest so go ahead watch it that will be really good for me and for you bye